Wow, this walking stick sure does help me keep my balance. Morning Scouts, today we're going to make walking sticks. A kit has been delivered to your house and in the kit there should be, let's see the items that you have. I hope you have not lost them since they were delivered. You got the stick and inside the plastic bag there is parachute cord which is about eight feet long. Parachute cord is used on the string on parachutes. You've got one parachute cord, it's either green or black. You've got one super glue. You have the 485 Cub Scout pack logo and there's two end caps for the PVC. One is rounded and one has been flattened. And on the flattened one there's a piece of tape. And go ahead and take that piece of tape off. You should be able to just get it with your fingernail and take it right off so that we have some bare PVC pipe that we can glue the medallion to. We talked about what is in your kit. The two things that you do not have in your kit that you're going to need to have this morning is a lighter and either a sharp pair of scissors or a knife. And you'll see how we're going to use these later. And I'd like you to get mom or dad to help you with these items so that you don't harm yourself. The other thing I want you to be careful with is the super glue that you don't get it on your hands and glue your fingers together. So let's be careful using this. Okay guys, to de determine the size of your walking stick, you're going to take your arm and it's going to come out about like this. And this is approximately where your handle should be, with your arm parallel to the ground. So you would want to cut your stick off about here. We've used AJ as the model for these sticks and his measurements. So your stick may be a little bit long, or it may be a little bit short. But it should work okay for you for this project. You'll notice that my walking stick, after it was cut, my arm is just parallel with the ground and the handle is right here. So it should be good for me walking around. Okay, I'm going to make this walking stick for myself, for the example to you, for you guys to watch. You'll notice that we already measured how to determine the length of the walking stick with AJ. My stick is a little bit longer. You'll notice also that we painted all of the sticks brown. Up here there's two holes in the top of the stick. And I'm going to show you what those are for in a minute. There's about four and a half inches between the holes. And that should be big enough for your hand. And we're going to make a handle out of the parachute cord so that when you're walking your hand doesn't slip and you've got something to grip onto. The first thing I want you to do is take your parachute cord and I want you to stick it in one of the holes at the top. Stick it in and then go ahead and push it and it's going to come out on the top of the pipe. And then after it comes out on the top of the pipe, I want you to do one single knot, overhand knot, pull it tight, and then take the other end of your parachute cord and pull it out. That overhand knot that you just did will secure the string on the inside. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this parachute cord from here down to here and you want it to be tight you don't want there to be any gaps in between it keep pushing it and getting it tight you'll notice that the string is wrapped tightly no spaces in between just continue to wrap it until we get down to the bottom set of holes. You're going to get kinks in the string. Just do like that and get the kinks out.
Now that I'm down near my two bottom holes, I want to make sure this is all tight. There's no spaces in between. And I'm going to take my parachute cord and I'm going to attempt to put it through both holes. And it's going to come out the other side. Then over here, I'm going to tie another overhand knot. And you've got to have it snug. You're going to have to push it up to your hole very snugly and push it tight. And that should keep that should keep your string from unraveling. Now you're going to have a little bit of extra string left. You can do one of two things with this. You can cut it off here if you want to and then you're going to need to use your lighter to burn the parachute cord so that it melts and, and doesn't fray out. Or you can use this extra amount of string and perhaps put your whistle on it so that you don't have to cut it off. After you've put your whistle on it, if you would like to, you can just tie a square knot and you'll have that with your whistle on it or whatever other device you want to put on there. I'm going to cut mine and burn the ends. So I'm going to have a little bit of string left over. And I'm going to take the lighter and I'm going to burn the end so it melts and it doesn't fray out. And be careful because that nylon rope that you're melting will really burn if it gets on your skin. So the handle part is done. We're going to put this over here. Now we're going to work with the end caps. Remember, one of them is round. That's going to go on the bottom and one of them has been flattened out. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your super glue and you're going to take a knife and you're going to poke a small hole in the top of the super glue container and then take the white adapter you have and my fingers are already getting glued to this so be careful. Put the white adapter top on And then you're going to take your medallion and you're going to put a little bit of super glue on the back of it and a little bit where you took that tape off on the flattened surface, you're going to put a drop there. Then you're going to lay the glue down so you don't get glued to it. You're going to take your medallion and you're going to put it in the middle of the cap and then press it down without gluing your fingers to it. Press it down and hold it for a few seconds so that the glue will dry. Okay, so now we have our medallion glued on the flat surface of the PVC end section. Now we're gonna take this end cap, we're gonna take our stick, and we're going to put a couple of drops on the end of the stick. So on this side, be careful, it's going to drip. So be careful, don't ruin mom's good carpet. Then, put your glue back down, take your end cap, and slide it down over the pipe. And then leave it alone and it should dry in a few minutes. Now we're going to take the other end cap, and put it on the bottom the same way. We're going to take a little bit of glue and put it on the end of the stick. Not too much, don't drop it on the table. And then take your other round end PVC cap and put it on the bottom. And there you have a completed PVC walking stick complete with 485 logo on the top. What are your questions, guys?